Oh, no. Just so the mood is, is more forgiveness and understanding. Right. And right. Empathy, maybe, yeah, on behalf emp- of the players. Yeah, empathy. I mean, like I said, as long as you're not, you know, being a complete, you know, I, I was be, being a jackass yeah, about no, it and, and not, you know, and just not having the right reasons because, you know, NIL, you know, guys could leave if they want more money or blah, blah, blah. You know, if it's not one of those reasons, we're very understanding. But if it is, we're going to call you out. So, Sort of along those lines, what do you feel like about what's going on with Cal and you know, some of the, the Pac-12 teams right now that don't have a home? Uh, I feel terrible about it. Uh, I know a lot of guys uh, that I roomed with are young. And they're going to be there for a while. So I, was, uh, I really hope that they do find a conference or at least some guys to play. I mean, I heard the ACC, maybe. I, I mean, I hope that's, you know, I want them to be in a good, in a good conference because I'm going to be a Cal fan, you know, forever. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to be a Cal fan forever. I mean, obviously, sooner number one. But I'm still, I'm still going to cheer, cheer for the, the boys on the West Coast a little bit. Uh, but I do feel bad for them. And I hope that they do find a, a spot to play football. Uh, but... At the same time, I'm wor- worried about us, and I'm glad the, that we're moving to the <laughs> SEC and that I can cheer on the SEC whenever I'm, uh, whenever I'm gone. So, McCade, some of the speakers that Coach has brought in this month, who have been some of the favorites of yours? Uh, so Keith, ja- it's Keith Jackson, right? Yeah, Keith, uh-huh. Keith Jackson was there a couple days ago. He was awesome. Uh, he brought his, uh, I think he had a Packers Super Bowl ring on. That was pretty sweet. Uh, Sheb always uh, brings the house down. He's always good. Always gets the guys going, uh, but I think Shep's, Shep is normally a consistent, a model. I would say a model of consistency whenever he comes and talks. He normally brings a good message, and we really enjoy it. And then, uh, who was it? Goodwin or Godwin? Mike Goodwin. Yeah. Mike Goodwin. Yes, he was awesome too. He was he was really funny, and we it was a good uh, change of pace, uh, less intense, you know, comedian. So it was a good time for us. Common themes across those guys. Uh, common themes. I know they all bring their own thing to the table. But. Co- common themes is uh, you can be committed. Hold on, you can be consistent without com- be committed. That that was one that Shep always said, and and it's true. I mean, we like obviously you can see guys can come here every day, you know, work out and all that stuff. But then outside of football, you can live totally wrong and not the athlete lifestyle like you're supposed to. So that's saying you can be consistent and show up every day, but you're not committed to the cause or the program. So I believe uh, that. That needs to be a message that is honed in on us and make sure that everybody's committed. As, you know, I mean, because everyone shows up because they want to still be on the team, but you need to make sure that you're committed to the program. So, do you feel like that message has resonated with guys? So uh, I hope so. I mean, it, could, it should resonate with everybody, uh, whether it's a job, you know, or or especially football. I think it should resonate with everybody. It resonated with me. It took me a while to you know understand at the beginning, uh, but it did resonate with me, and and I hope it resonates with a lot of other guys uh, to make sure that, you know, we're taking our film study seriously as the season starts and, uh, you know, our eating and it's hot outside and take our hydration because we can't have guys cramping out here uh, during our team reps and all that stuff. So I do think it resonates with us. Hey, you mentioned his name earlier, but I want to ask you about Savion. Yes. The difference, Savion Bird 2023 versus 2022. As far as, like, the Florida State game and then to now? Yeah. Uh, I think Savion's getting a lot more mature. I told him that – Obviously, he had a he had a really he had a really good game uh, for Florida State. I think what he needs to understand is that he's super talented, but it takes a whole different animal to be able to play that for 13, 14 games. You know, I want to make sure that he is ready for the commitment for a 14 week season. Uh, because I mean, yeah, you can, you can go out there and, and bust your ass for a bowl game, you know, and I know he's going to do it, but I, I want to make sure that he understands how hard a, a 14 game season is. And it's not just a one game wonder type thing, you know. And I know obviously that, you know, you won't know it really until the season starts, but do you do you feel like that message is resonating yes, with him? Yes, I do. I do. I do believe uh, that has resonated with him. Me and him talk a lot, or him and I, him and I talk <laughs> a lot uh, about that, you know, on the side. And I make sure that he understands uh, the importance of, you know, his hydration and his nutrition to make sure you know he's gained a lot of weight now I need to make sure that he keeps it on because uh, you can't play a guard in the Big 12 at 290 he's, he's back up to 300 pounds and I need to make sure that he keeps it on and I think as an O-line group we're doing a good job of making sure that he does that so I think we ask this how much more comfortable are you on the right than the left uh I you know uh, I, I we talked about this last year a little bit I think it just depends on you know, if I were to switch to the le- like last year, I was totally comfortable on the left. If I was to switch to the left right now, it would take me probably two weeks to be fully comfortable. But now that I'm on the right, you know, but I think 
since I was in, I was in California, I played right guard for three years and played left here last year. Uh, right now, I say I'm more comfortable on the right side, but it's just because I haven't played left in a while. So. Gotcha. Any adjust major adjustments with that that stand out as you made that that switch? I've I've widened up my stance a little bit. Like I said, uh, I work with Clint Anderson in Dallas, and he has helped me a lot with my pass pro. And I've widened up my stance, and I'm working on coming off the ball better, keeping my eyes up, uh, especially with Arkansas State. They have uh, they do a good job of blitzing uh, the interior. Uh, I need to make sure that I'm uh, watching the fronts with the formations that we're in uh, and where the running back is. So I do think uh, that my stance and to keep my eyes up is going to help me a lot this year. So. How much higher is the comfort level next to Andrew than maybe this time last year when you were you know, brand new here? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Andrew and I, Andrew and I have got uh, done a good job of uh, getting to know each other. You know, th this past year that we've been together, uh, a lot more comfortable this year. Our communication is a lot better. Uh, last year we were, you know, for lack of a better word, complete strangers. Uh, but I think this year we're doing a good job. Uh, we were at his house yesterday. We had a good time. We got had an ice bath in his backyard. He's got chickens and stuff, so we hung out yesterday and had barbecue, uh, played cornhole or whatever. So it was a good time.